Do you like liquid lips? You like the staying power, but you don't always like how they make your lips feel. Maybe a little drying, and maybe they're a little, a little too matte for you. You want, you like the gloss? Well, Urban Decay listened, and they now have a new Vice Lip Bond that is supposed to be a liquid lip with major staying power, not supposed to dry out your lips. So let's see if it lives up to the claims. So excited. I got this NPR from Urban Decay, and I just wanted to point out that look at how they ship it. I think that it's nice because this is not a lot of extra packaging. The boxes, the three lipsticks are in there. So I just feel like I wanted to point that out that there's not a lot of waste. They did send over three shades with no obligation to review. There is 12 total shades available in the line and these just are new on the market. You can get them at Sephora or on the Urban Decay website. They're $25 each and that is for 4.2 ml or 0.14 fluid ounce. So we have three colors here, a brown, pink, and red. Colors that I got, let's start with Cuffed Up is the name of this one. And it does remind you on here, you do need to shake these. You shake these for five seconds to activate the color. Then you apply and then you're set. Here is what the container looks like. And this is made in the US with US and or imported ingredients. And it says to let them dry. The longer you let them dry, the more staying power it's supposed to have. That's what the applicator looks like. I don't smell any scent. Urban Decay is cruelty free, however, their parent company is not. So I would describe this as like a Barbie pink. And did you know that if you normally gravitate towards a bright pink lipstick, you know what that says about your personality? It says that you are bubbly, energetic, and playful. And by the way, if you are new, my name is Stacy. This is Stacy Lee Beauty. I am in my mid 40s, live in the Midwest, and I love beauty, makeup, skincare, fashion, unboxing. So if you are a fellow beauty lover too, I hope that you will consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming on back. I would love to know what type of lipsticks do you normally gravitate towards? Is it liquid, lip gloss, or just like regular bullet lipsticks? What do you normally? I like liquid lips, but I usually kind of stay away from them because of the drying out factor in the matte. I usually have to put a lip gloss over because I like more of a gloss but these are supposed to give us some shine. So I feel like it's a little sticky, not too much. Here is one coat. Let's see. Tiny bit of transfer. I kind of actually like this color. I don't know, what do you think? I kind of feel it, you know how sometimes if you put on liquid lips, you can kind of feel them on the corners of your mouth. Do you know what I mean? So I can kind of feel it that way. And let's see if I do the hair test. So you might, if you're out in the wind, a little bit of your hair might get stuck, but on this side, obviously nothing did. So and maybe I just didn't have it dried long enough, but we will wipe this off and we can put on the next color. And the next color that we have is Pleased. And this is, looks like kind of a copperish brown color, nude, maybe like a pinky nude. And these are all vegan as well. And the th I like too is they have, in case you're like me and you like to check the batch codes and stuff to see when things expire, they do have the batch code on the box, but they also have it right on the packaging right here. Easy to read because a lot of times they are not easy to read. So just as an FYI, and we can see now that the color tops do match what color story the lip product is. So that's good too. If you have them sitting in a drawer, you can easily know. And they do have a 24, mil, 24 month shelf life. So here is Pleased. Okay, this color definitely has orange undertones. But yeah, this is with one coat, 
did my entire lips. I didn't have to go back in and I feel like that definitely gives a good coat. So that claim is definitely true. A one coat, one swipe and you're done. Let me take this off and then we're going to try this reddish color. That one I did leave on a little bit longer to dry and it was definitely more of a challenge to get that one off. So I did put a little bit of foundation just over my lips because I still have a little bit of that color on. So definitely that is true. The longer you leave it sit, the more you're going to, the longer, or like the more staying power is what I'm trying to say. Ooh, I like this color. This is a very wearable red. If you maybe are a little intimidated by red normally, this definitely seems like it would be good for a lot of different skin tones. And I'm just flipping the round to the other side to do my bottom lip more. Since this is a darker color, you might want to wear a lip liner with this one, but I still don't think that it would be necessary if you don't like to use lip liners. I would love to know what color of lipstick you normally gravitate towards and if you're going to look at getting any of these. I really like the packaging. First impressions, they don't feel drying down, dried down or like they're drying out my lips at all. Like I said, I can kind of feel it a little bit in the corners, but other than that, I can't really feel it on. So thank you so much to Urban Decay for sending these over to me. Now let's test out how these, how it stays on and if it transfers. First of all, I have a straw here. And yes, it might look a little weird how I'm drinking out of my straw. But the reason I bend my lip down is to avoid the lip wrinkles starting here. So it looks a little strange, I know, but. Okay, so we do have a little bit of transfer. So if you wanna make sure you don't have any transfer, it just says the longer you let them dry, the you know better staying power. I would say maybe like two to three minutes, let it dry, and then you probably will get less transfer. Let's see on here. Yeah, I'm barely getting any, can you see that? Barely getting any transfer. It's really just on like this part like the inner part of the lip that I'm getting any transfer from so yay all right thank you so much for watching I hope that this video was helpful and that if you haven't already you will consider hitting that subscribe button so you can come and join me here multiple times a week and I hope to see you next time have a good day thanks bye so let me here is which color again